All right, so in this geometry lesson, we are going to talk about how do you calculate the area when you are combining two or more two dimensional shapes. So, the best way to understand this is by going through some examples. So here is our first scenario. We have two arcs, A, B, and C, D. They are coming from these two circles, the one which is at 21 centimeter radius and the second one is 7 centimeter radius. They both are concentric at the center O. All right. If the angle A, O, B is 30 degree, which means the arc A, B extends an angle of 30 degree at the center, then what is the area of the green shaded region? So you see this area we are talking about, right? Now when you look at this diagram very carefully, you will find that the required area of the region A, C, D and B. This area is equal to nothing but a difference of two sector area. The first area of the sector A1 is the sector that is made by the arc AB. And what will be that sector? That will be AOB, right? So if A1 is my first area, and then you have this smaller sector here that is made by this arc CD. If you label that area to be A2 of the sector COD, and once you subtract A2 from A1, you get your required area. As simple as that, correct? Because this smaller area, the one which is here in this red shaded region, it is common to both of these sectors, correct? As long as I subtract this smaller area, I get this required area. That is my solution process, okay? And now it is very easy for me to calculate A1 and A2 respectively, right? What is A1? A1 is the area of the sector that is made by the arc AB. And this sector is coming from a circle that has a radius R1. Let's say R1 is equal to 21 centimeter, right? So what will be the sector area then? The sector area will be, first we compute the area of the whole circle, the pi R1 square, and then multiply that with the sector angle, which is theta degree divided by 360, because 360 is the total angle of this entire circle. We learned about this sector area calculation formula in our previous tutorial, right? Well, similarly, I can calculate the A2, the area of the smaller sector will be the area of the smaller circle, which is pi r2 square, multiplied by theta, which is the angle of that sector, divided by 360 degree, correct? The value R2 is the radius of the smaller circle. So R2 is equal to 7 centimeter. So you have R1, you have R2. You will question about what is the sector angle theta? Well, this is given right here. The angle theta is 30 degree. So let's simply plug in all these values and get to our required result. So pi is 22 over 7, R1 is 21 square times theta is 30 divided by 360 minus in the A2 will be 22 over 7 times R2 is 7 square times 30 divided by 360. Okay, now I won't go into the details of how do you multiply numbers and how do you subtract numbers. That is not the purpose at this grade level. Okay, and this final value comes out to be equal to 102.67 centimeter square. So what's the key point? What is it that you take home? The key point is to get to your required results, which is a combination of two dimensional shapes. You need to be able to break down your complex problem into smaller chunks and use your creativity and imagination in finding the net area by subtracting bigger from the smaller or by adding different areas to get to your required results. So that's the key point. Let's take a look at one more example to understand these concepts a little better. So in this scenario, we are given that there is a square OABC. That is this square we are talking about OA, B and C. This square is inscribed in a quadrant. The quadrant at the vertices O, there is the point P, there is point B and then there is a point Q. In this quadrant of a circle, this square having this dimension is inscribed. We need to find the area of the shaded region. 
So just like the previous problem, what would be your approach? The approach would be that if I know the area of the quadrant, which is A1, let's say this is the area of the quadrant O, P, B, Q. And if you know the area of the square, which is, let's say that area is A2, the square has vertices at O, A, B, C. So if you know this area of the square, then you will simply subtract A2 from A1 and then you will get your required area, right? It's very simple to calculate the area of a square because you already know the dimension of each side of a square. That area is simply the multiplication of two sides, 20 times 20. So that is 400 centimeters square. Now, as long as I know how to calculate this quadrant area A1, which is OPBQ, I can simply get to my solution, right? But we are not given any radius of a circle that contains this quadrant, right? So let's assume that radius is equal to R, right? We are exactly on this diagram, you'll have that radius. It will be exactly this dimension. The dimension OB is my radius because this is a quadrant. That means this is the boundary of the circle and O is the point at which we have the center of this circle. So of course, OB is my radius, right? Now we don't have this radius, we only have the dimension of this square. But you know what? There is a triangle O, A, B and the angle A of this triangle is equal to 90 degree. That means we can simply apply a Pythagorean theorem that will tell me that R square, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle is equal to O, A square plus A, B square, right? And what is OA square? It is square of 20. And what is AB square? It is also square of 20. So that is simply 400 plus 400, that will be 800. So the value R square is equal to 800. Let's keep that value in mind and proceed to our next step where we will calculate the area A1. So what will be the area A1? It will be one fourth of the area of a circle for which we have this quadrant OP, BQ, right? And that will be one fourth of pi R square because R is the radius of that circle, right? So that will be one fourth of, let's say pi is 22 over seven times R square, which is 800. We just got it from here, correct? And now it is very simple to solve this competition. This will be equal to 628 centimeter square. Now, one question might be coming up in your mind that what is this 1 4 pi r square? Why did I pick this value 1 4? Now, you think about this. We have a quadrant O, P, B, Q and a quadrant is 1 4 of a circle. A circle who has a radius equal to r. So, if I know this value r and if I know the area of that circle, which is pi r square, and if I get the 1 4 of that, that will be exactly the quadrant area I need, right? That's how it comes up with this value. So we have our quadrant area. We will subtract 400 centimeters square, which is the area A2, the area of the square, this square, and the result is 228 centimeters square. This is the area of this shaded region that we wanted to calculate the one that I'm highlighting in green now, okay? So the key point I want you to take home is always draw a diagram relevant to your problem, that is one, and then break down your complex problem into smaller chunks. And the objective was to give you some methods that how do you calculate the area when you're combining two or more figures. And we learned that with the help of some examples.